you need a proper balance of both light and darkness. Lest we forget that as much as we are a part of the light, we are equal a part of the darkness. Because you cannot separate the two, because the two are actually one. It's like a seesaw. If you want that seesaw to be balanced, each side has to have an equal amount of weight. If one side has too much weight, the other side goes up. It, cre it creates a disproportionate imbalance, and it throws you out of alignment, and that becomes asymmetrical. There's no equilibrium. There's no alignment. So in order for you to get that proper balance, to attain that balance, you have to search within yourself what you feel that that means to you. But you, you cannot eliminate all of one and have just one of another. It doesn't work like that because you are equal amounts of everything that the universe created. So why not utilize that to your highest potential? Instead of deluding yourself into believing that you are incapable of possessing these things when you're not. It's just not the truth. So you have to create a balance within yourself of all of the darkness. And remember, there are many levels of darkness, only some of which are malevolent. Because you need that darkness to contrast your light and vice versa. So use these as tools to benefit you. For the betterment as an asset. You know, not a detriment or a liability. Because they can be. It's all about transmuting. Now, the interesting thing about people's perceptive lenses is that they always see things differently. I've heard different viewpoints and different perceptions and different understandings of what they think a universe is and what it isn't. And I love it. I love all of it. Because that's somebody's personal truth. And this channel is no different. So no matter what I say about my connection to the universe, that it, that's all it's ever going to be is just my connection that I'm sharing with you in hopes in the hopes that it can, you know, perhaps bring a different awareness to you or perhaps expand your perceptive lens and saying, well, you never, I, I never thought of it that way. I never, you know, saw it that way. And perhaps that will bring you another facet to your perceptive lens that you can expand and broaden and grow and explore. That's basically the premise of the channel. But in other areas, I do speak fact when, I, when I'm talking about the, the, you know, just raw data, the numbers. You know, as far as um, the oldest religion and the, to the age of the earth and all this, that, that that's not my opinion. That's just fact. That's why in videos like that, I encourage you to do your research because I'm not just pulling it out of the clear, you know, blue sky. I'm not pulling it out of the thin air. I've done my research. I've done the work. I've done the investigation. I know what I'm talking about. What I know, I know very well. Do I know everything? No, not at all. Absolutely not. I'm learning all the time, as everybody is. But what I've learned with this type of a particular topic is that you have to create a balance. You don't find a balance. You don't find peace. You create these things within yourself. So that's a journey of self-exploration and self-discovery. I can't walk it with you. That's why I don't list number one, number two, number three. I never did. I never will. All I could do is share how it works for me, but it isn't a one size fits all. It, it's just not going to be because everybody's journey is different. Your energy is different. Your connection is different. Your perceptive lens is different. Your life is different. Your outlook, everything. Your inlook. You, you have a different vista than I do. It's just that simple. So it's me offering my connection, sharing with you in the hopes that it can expand yours. But you have to basically create a balance. And you do that by taking all of the elements and aspects of your journey, not just the light, because they cannot be only one of, of one and not another and, and attempt to think that you can eliminate it because you can't. There's no way. Source is a source of all creation. So how could you eliminate something that's a part of your soul? You can't. No matter how much you think you can, you cannot. Because all of this deception happens in the physical mind. Because you're projecting these things that are coming back to you. And you're manifesting these things. And then your, your feelings and emotions are tethering it to these things. And it is through that tether that you validate these, these illusions. And you confirm them as reality. This is all a mental game. It's a mind trap. What I'm speaking of is seceding from that. And it's very easy. All you have to do is just disconnect from that matrix. Because that's what this is. So when you analyze that on a, on, a, on a soul deep level, on a metaphysical level, you'll clearly see that what I'm saying makes perfect sense because you have to create a balance. Because then if you are imbalanced, you don't have harmonic balance. And you're not, you're not going to have a harmonic convergence. You're going to have a harmonic divergence where the things that are utilized as elements to, that you need, that you require to manifest, now they are going to be now they're going to be disproportionately out of balance. Too much of one, not enough of another is not a good thing. And this is the same way as well. It's like cooking. If you have too much salt, nobody's going to want to eat the food. 
If you have not enough salt, it'll taste bland. So you have to you have to create that proper balance. It's the same thing. And that's a journey of discovery and exploration. And I can't walk that with you. I can't tell you what to do. The only thing I could do is offer insight in how I do it for myself. Some days I get it right. Some days I don't. It's just the way it is. Some days it's a hit. Some days it's a miss. And that it's just, that's the way it is. That's how we learn about ourselves. But one thing I understand is that I don't take this place serious. The happiest that I, that I create for myself is when I consciously detach from the everything of everything, not just the physical. Practice your initial steps of conscious detachment from the physical, but then you take it another step farther and you consciously detach from the metaphysical, and then you consciously detach from the everything of everything, where there is just. That's it. It's just. There is nothing else. In the absence of all, there is just. Just this. That's it. Whatever that means to you. And then you begin to create and manufacture, actualize, realize, manifest, whatever name you want to use. It's beautiful. And the really cool thing about this is that there is no one way to do it. And there's an infinite ways of getting it done. And it never ends. You can continually keep modifying these things, rearranging them. You know, tearing it down, breaking it apart, rebuilding it, modifying it, replacing things, repurposing things, recalibrating, realigning. It's its just beautiful. A continuous process of rebirth, transition, renewal, expansion, ascension, transformation, teleportation. It's beautiful. So whatever that means to you, that's what it means to you. When you want to properly manifest something, you have to understand you have to de-manifest other things. You have to rid yourself of other things in order to create that stability, that balance. That's the way it is. Because you're so laden with the energies of the matrix, you have to get rid of those. And whatever's left as a remainder has to be transmuted to a viable form of energy in your journey. Recognizing that it is darkness, but it is a transmuted darkness. No longer against you, but operating for you. And yes, you can do that. It's just that you have been programmed through movies and television to believe that darkness is evil. That's why they vilify and defame people with a dark pigmentation. They always have. And they always will. I've said before in a, few, in, a, in a video from the past, I said, when you attach the word black to anything, it instantaneously assumes a negative connotation. Black male, black list, black sheep. You know, it's programming. You've got to get rid of all of that. You have to realize there just is this. Whatever you think this is, that that is what it is to you. I can't tell you what that means to you because what that means to me is something entirely different. It has nothing to do with what you're going to find in a book. These things were sent to me from my guides and my spirits, you know, and I take from it what I will, you know, and I and I really truly embrace these things. The most important thing you could do with divine transmissions is accept the message in its purest form. This way, nothing is lost in translation. Now, by that, I mean, don't go through any intermediary asking questions. Well, what is this and what is that? Because your divine transmissions are getting sent through them to you. Now, you have all of their energy entangled in it and the message is lost. The purity of the essence of the message is lost. The initial intention is lost. Now, it becomes something else because you've added other people to it. Like the telephone game, they call it Chinese whispers. That's exactly what happens. It gets modified and changed, but not in a not in a better way. So it's best to remain an open divine transceiver, an open channel to your spirits. This way you can receive intuitive guidance in its purest form, and they will instruct you exactly how to create balance inside yourself. You know, that's the best way that I can put it. But um, you have to, it's, it's, it's a matter of adding and subtracting. You add the, the elements that augment and you subtract the elements that diminish until you get a balance. And then it's beautiful. And that's harmonious alignment. And it's wonderful. God bless you. And good luck with everything.